You never know what you'll find on the back roads of Northern California. And here to fill us in on everything oysters and how they go from cleaning water to satisfying our appetites is John Bartell. Hi, John. Hey, hey. First of all, do you like oysters? You know, I, do, I did not really try oysters until I did this story. Mm -hmm. And uh, the question is, yeah, the answer is yes, I do like oysters now. And where do you go to get a lesson on oysters? Where is the <laughs> optimal place to learn? Well, uh, I went to the Tamales Bay, which is up in uh, Marin County. It's over mm -hmm. kind of near Point Reyes. Gorgeous area. And it's, it's actually kind of a historic spot for growing uh, oysters, okay. farming them. So they farm them there, so obviously they're fresh. Yeah. What did we learn about freshness when it comes to oysters? So we'll talk about it in the story, but I'm going to give you a little hint. Anything after five days, you may want to stay away from those oysters. Now when they're getting those oysters, is it like, I mean, is it a complicated science on, on farming them? <laughs> is there a certain time of day that makes them better than others? Yeah, yeah. Actually, it's it's really all dependent on the tide. You cannot get these things uh, just any time of the day. It, and this is like a two, three year process that oh. these farmers are growing them out there. It's very interesting. You want to take a look? Yes, let's take a look. All right. The time and the tide wait for no one in the Tamales Bay. The moon dictates the work schedule. So even when the fog rolls over Hog Island, the oyster harvest bags on. It's a lot of labor in a place that sometimes isn't really nice. Like it's a nice evening out here now, but when it's 40 knots blowing and raining sideways, it's not a lot of fun. This is the Hog Island Oyster Fields, and John Finger is the owner and farmer. The technical term is a mariculturist. A mariculturist. So an aquaculture, right? You talk about aquaculture. Mariculture is aquaculture in the sea. John knows a thing or two about the oyster business. He and his partner, Terry Sawyer, planted the first oyster seeds in this very spot back in 1983. You know, they, we get growth almost year round here, but see this leading edge? Uh -huh. That's like putting another ring down of a tree. An oyster is a mollusk, but in a way, they're a lot like a tree. When they're young, oysters go through a seed stage, and when they grow up, they filter water, just like a tree filters air. So these guys are actually cleaning the water. Yes, exactly. You know, there's a lot of areas of the world now where they're trying to, to put more oysters back into bays just for the purposes of making the bay healthier. After about two years of cleaning the Tamales Bay, the Hog Island oysters take a vacation of sorts. So from here, they're going on like a little oyster roller coaster ride yep. up here. They're on their way to the oyster spa. Matt McKinnon is the farm manager, and he's in charge of cleaning up the oysters. This is a very fast paced kind of it thing. It is very fast paced. Very, yeah, they're just like listening. There's a lot of noise going on. It takes a lot of practice and a good ear to distinguish a dead oyster from a live one. If you kind of like knock them, you can hear if they're hollow. During peak season, these guys can sort up to 60,000 oysters in one day. And only the finest oysters make it to the oyster spa. So they hang out in here for 24 hours. 24 hours. Get that mud and stuff yep. out. So then when I eat it, it's, it's all it's super clean. If you ask me, the best part of oyster harvest is quality control. When does an oyster become not fresh? How many days? Um, I mean, generally about four to five days if you keep them well iced or refrigerated. After shucking the oyster, it's customary to give the meat a little flip in the shell before flicking it in your mouth. And then if you need to, you can give a little finger a little skip. skip. Yep. Mm -hmm. Taste the ocean. It's salty. It's the marowar. The marowar. Marowar is just a fancy word for the location that the oysters were grown in. Oysters will be reflective of whatever bay they're grown in.
The time and the tide wait for no one in the Tamales Bay. And because of that, the unique taste of its waters is reflected in the oysters that live here. So the next time you slurp down an oyster, remind yourself how hard it was to harvest them. From the oyster fields of Tamales Bay, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back row. This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.